It's a total lie that you need to feel motivated, excited, or even ready to take action toward your goals. And first off, motivation isn't something that you have, it's something that you generate. And secondly, cut yourself a break because it's human nature to be scared versus excited about doing new things, about doing hard things. But the bottom line is, if you don't take any action, you are never going to reach your goals. So isn't it more important to focus on how you can take action, even when it feels really hard, even when you're uncertain of the outcome, and even when you feel sort of high levels of anxiety and overwhelm? Well, that's what I want to go through with you today in this episode of the Yorkshire Live podcast. So if you're ready, let's dive straight in. Welcome back to episode 150 in the Your Rich Life podcast. Holy smokes. Um, And I want to help, I want to make sure that this episode delivers something for you that means that you're not going to wait until next year, until the start of 2023, to start taking action towards your goals. I want to make sure that you get off this podcast and you start now with something new in your brain. Now, before we do that, I'm going to share a personal experience with you that I hope invites you to be a little bit kinder to yourself. So some of you know that back in August of last year, which is 2021, I completely closed my business down in August um, when my dad got very sick to help my mum look after him and to be there and spend as much time as him as I possibly could. Now, he passed away last November and I didn't start my business again. And I started completely from scratch again in July. And it has been really, really hard. I have struggled with anxiety. I've struggled with lack of confidence, overwhelm, uncertainty. I've had all these stories about like, what kind of person are you to close your business down? What are people going to think? Yada, 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 like the whole nine yards. I've had it all. And yet I'm still here. And I've still shown up every day in some way for my business and life goals, for my community and for my mission in life. And so I got to thinking about, like how did I manage to create that momentum when there have been so many days that I just wanted to go back under the duvet and do nothing. And I stripped it all the way back to discover these two things that I'm about to share with you now. Now, I wanna make sure that you listen to the entire podcast because I have got a crazy Christmas offer just for three people at the end of this podcast and I mean crazy, so keep listening. So I'm gonna just tell you, like when I, when I stripped it back, there was two things and those two things are this, one rule and one step. So let's go into, first of all, the, the, the one rule. The one rule is this, there is no bartering. What happens for a lot of you is that you tell yourself you can have a conversation with your brain that will help you find the way that will keep you motivated and feeling great on this turbulent journey of growth and reaching our goals. But let me ask you, how has that worked for you so far? Do you have what you really, really want? Are you where you really want to be? Probably not. Because the truth is, if you enter conversation with your brain, then your programming will win not your goals, your programming, your limitations will win, your fears will win, because that's just the way your brain is wired. It's not you, there's nothing, there's nothing broken, it's just the way your brain is wired. So the minute you enter that conversation with your brain, it will offer you a million very seemingly valid logical reasons why you should not take action and why doing what you've always been doing and staying where you are is the, is the best choice for you. So I'm going to teach you now how to create a pattern interrupt for that. That means we're going to find, I'm going to teach you a way now to stop your brain doing that kind of crap over and over again and you buying into it. So there's kind of three ways we can do it. Number one, the minute you notice yourself engaging in in conversation with your brain, literally just stop talking. You know you're doing it because you'll be like, you'll be laying in your bed and you'll be thinking, okay, the alarm's gone off, I need to get up and work out. And then your brain says, yeah, but like if you lay in bed and you're more rested, you know, you reset your hormones and you're like, yeah, it will actually. So maybe I'll just, I won't do that. I'll just literally, the minute you find yourself engaged in that conversation, stop talking, stop talking. Okay. Because you've, you've already almost started to lose the fight. Now there are going to be days when those voices are going to be so loud. It's almost impossible for you to not engage with them. So here's what I want you to do when you do that is First of all, I want you to recognize that anything that is offered to you from your brain, which stops you taking action, the action that you know you need to take, is going to be self-sabotage. 
If what you're hearing in your brain is not something that's going to help you progress towards your goal, it's going to be self-sabotage. So these NLP techniques are just so super simple but highly effective ways to get your brain to start creating new pathways, right? So one of the things I use in my brain is I, I say out loud to myself, stop, right? Stop it, brain. Thank you for the offer, but I don't want to take those. Please kindly shove those up your bottom. Sometimes the wording, the, the vocab is not very clean, but whatever it takes for me to stop those voices, that are my voices feel like they're coming from behind me. So oftentimes I will even, like if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see me move my hands around. Like I literally like almost put a barrier up by my ear so I can't hear them and I'm like, stop it. I'm not listening. That's one way. Depends on, like, you'll find the way that, that serves you best. Another, another way that you can do it is to literally give yourself 10 seconds to close your eyes and mentally, in your mind's eye, see a big stop sign come up. Some of you might, like, want a neon light. Some of you are going to see, like, a, you know, the traditional traffic stop sign come up. Maybe you'll see a traffic light. Something that in your mind's eye, there is a visual for you of the word or the, or the action of stop. That also works. Another thing that you can do is to turn the volume down. So some of you who are more auditory, if you imagine that there is a button, like a, a, a dial that you can turn down and turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down until the voice can't be heard anymore, right? All of these things work. They're very simple but powerful NLP techniques. Another thing you can do is if, you're, if, if it feels better for you, like literally turn your body and head away from where you're hearing the voices. If you have to move rooms, it, I can't begin to tell you how, like when I first started doing these things back in 2015, I was an absolute mental wreck. I was in massive amounts of anxiety, swinging between like depression and anxiety. And then if things went well in my business, I was like on this euphoric high for a very short period of time. And it was one of the first uh, coaches that I worked with was like, you know, you don't have to hear that. You don't have to pay attention to these voices. And these are just some of the things that she taught me. And obviously then I went and did my NLP coaching back in 2016. And they're, they're a lifesaver. Now, the third step, which is when you want to take full personal responsibility and you are that courageous warrior that is willing to be responsible for the actions that you take and the results that you have, every time this happens to you, you're going to grab your journal, you're going to grab your diary, and you are going to make a, a note, a physical note of which emotional discomfort you are choosing every single time this happens. So you're going to write down, this happened again today and I chose the emotional discomfort of doing something that feels uncertain and scary. Yay me, right? Or you're going to write down, I chose the emotional discomfort of staying exactly where I am because it felt better in this moment. You're just delaying how crap that feels. Because in the moment when you make the choice to stay where you are, it feels like, oh, you haven't got to do that thing anymore. But all you're doing is, in, is delaying the emotional discomfort so that in six months or 12 months, you're like, oh crap, I'm in exactly the same freaking place and I am really peed off with myself right now. Trust me, that happens. So that's the, the one rule is there is no bartering with the conversation in your brain. Do the things that you promised yourself you would do no matter how hard it is. That is how you create change. You create this new self-concept. And you can only create a new self-concept when you choose to do different things, when you choose to have different thoughts, when you choose to kind of pave the new pathway. So that's the one rule. Now, the one step that I want to encourage you to do is future orientation. Now, what most people do tend to do is they catastrophize, which is spending energy, spending your resources. There's nothing coming back from that. When you future orientate, you invest your energy because something does come back from that, something good and positive and resourceful. Head drama, when we're in our own head, head drama is all about the what ifs and the associated perceived emotional discomfort. So let me illustrate that for you right now with a couple of examples. If you have a goal to grow your business, and as an example, you're I say, un, over, uh, under earning and over delivering, and I was to coach you to raise your prices, your brain might offer you things like, oh my God, no one will sign up. What if someone judges me? What if all my current clients leave me? What if I, you know, I'm going to feel like an imposter, blah, blah, blah. And if you go a little bit deeper, you'll notice that every one of those thoughts is merely um, a way that you, you perceive you're going to feel emotional discomfort. So if no one signs up, how are you going to feel? It's, it's the feeling that you don't want to have. It's not that no one signs up. It's the feelings that you associate coming with that. 
just on a little side note, you get to choose how you feel about those feelings, but that's another, that's another episode. So if we go to another example, just so that I can give you something that makes it really land, like kind of concrete in your body and it feels good in your mind. If you have a goal to lose weight, for example, your head drama might take you to things like, well, I can't give up alcohol because that's how I relax. And I, and I go out every weekend with my friends. I don't want to give up alcohol and I'm going to become boring. Or um, I'm going to feel so stressed if I have to cook from scratch all the time because I don't have the time. My children or my partner doesn't eat the same food as me. I don't have the time or the resources to do that. Again, everything comes back to the emotions you are prioritizing. And so often we, we prioritize the comfort of the now and we just delay the discomfort of regret later on rather than feeling the discomfort of the change now and experience the, 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 the feelings of success and growth a little bit further down the line. So now you are going to learn how easy it is to use your brain to create power in your mind because we're going to pitch a tent in a successful future. So this is how we're going to do it. When we future orientate, it's so simple. Your, your brain's going to offer you, this won't work, this is silly, yada, yada, yada. And that's because your brain wants you to keep doing what you're doing. Your brain wants you to keep safe. Your brain wants you to stay doing exactly what you're doing. So I want to offer you right off the bat, say stop to those voices and do not judge until you've implemented consistently over a period of time so in simple you when we future orientate you are going to invest some time and energy in imagining who you are when you have achieved the goal and you are going to activate every single one of your senses so you're going to ask yourself okay so imagine being in the body of the person where you've achieved the goal you set out okay so ask yourself what am i seeing in my life what when I look around me, what am I seeing? What am I seeing in myself? Like, what do I look like? What are my facial expressions? What how am I holding myself? What am I what clothes am I wearing? What are you saying to yourself? Instead of having the head drama, what have you been on saying on loop in your head? What are other people saying to you? Where do you feel this success in your body? Where do you feel this growth? Where do you feel this pride in your body for having become the person who committed to doing what they said they would do, no matter how how busy the head thoughts were right and then what emotions are you experiencing and i want you to bring it to life i want you to like literally breathe life into it because the more you can feel it the more powerful this exercise is now as a bonus you can also anchor this physically and you can do that very simply by just as you, once you know that you're fully engaged in what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you're saying, what you're smelling, tasting, touching, and you're like, oh, this feels so good. I want you to just gently press one thumb and four, like your forefinger and your thumb together. It doesn't need to be hard, just a gentle connection between your thumb and forefinger. It doesn't matter what hand. And just stay there. And as your emotions and the feelings start to dissipate or dilute a little bit, just release the anchor. That's a physical anchor. Now, here's why that's powerful, because then you can activate that anchor whenever you like. You could be walking around the supermarket and, and press the magic button and activate all those feelings of the future orientation right there. Plus, when you're having a really great experience, like you're, you're feeling really great, something really great happens, you're having a powerful time, some, it's just something else happens, you can like magnify the anchor by just just pressing it again and it'll keep adding on like your power spot it's amazing right so that's just you don't have to do that but why wouldn't you that's my question to you maybe you want to answer that i don't know so what i want to offer you as we wrap this up is that it means nothing about you if things feel really hard it means nothing about you if you don't always feel motivated it means nothing about you if you get stuck in your head drama all that really matters is that you do not get stuck in not taking action, waiting for things to feel easier, waiting to feel more motivated, and waiting to feel like poly, poly positive pants the whole time. Because that's never gonna happen. No matter how far down your journey you get, there will still be days where you have to do the work on your head. I am still doing it, and I've been doing this work a really long time. So the quicker you start to execute the rule and the step, the quicker you're going to start to overwrite and eventually completely retrain your brain and your success is inevitable because your success is only in how you choose to think period it really is that simple and here's what i want to offer you with this crazy christmas offer so just for future people it is now currently december 2022 
and this offer is only available till the end of this year. That's it. 31st of December is the last day. But I want you on board before that because I want our first coaching call to happen before the end of December. Because here's the thing, right? Putting stuff off, telling yourself you'll start on January 1st, that is not how successful people think. They want to start now. They want to take into the new year the power of clarity, knowing that they're fully supported and knowing that they have, they've, they're just, they're bringing in this whole amazing energy into their year. Do not kid yourself that you're gonna check out for the next three weeks and that you're gonna feel amazing on the 1st of January because you're probably gonna feel like crap. Just putting that one out there. So here's what I've noticed. There tends to be three big barriers to people succeeding with coaching. Number one is the lack of belief that they have in themselves, the service that they're looking to buy or the person supplying that service. Number two, there's a lot of shame around investments that they've made before that haven't worked. And number three, which is a biggie for me, is that people go off the boil between their sessions. They see their coach once a week, and then as the week goes on, you know, they start to check out a little bit because motivation like starts to drop and they feel a little bit of anxiety and they don't know what to do next. And they're like, oh, I wish she was in my head. So I was like, how can I remove all of those barriers to ensure that you get a six month container that makes your success inevitable? And here's what I came up with. Now I'm going back to point number one, the lack of your belief in yourself, that's perfectly normal. And that's really coaching 101 is to get you to believe in you and the inevitability of your success. Because that's my job. <laughs> right? That's why I have a coach to, to help me when I'm having a wobble, like I believe in your outcome, probably at the moment more than you believe in it. And it's my job to get you into in, into those thoughts as well. So we can remove that off the back because that's the whole point of coaching, right? When it if you are thinking like, I don't know that I believe in her coaching process, or I don't believe in you, there is there are, there are a couple of things you can do about that, like go listen to as many podcasts as you can, and decide from there whether you think I can help you, because I do give a lot of help on every coach on every podcast, my intention always is to give you something to take away and do I don't want you just to listen, because that doesn't change anything, I want you to listen and act. Um, the other thing you can do is just go read some of my social media posts, but the most powerful thing you can do is just to to get on a call with me. And we will go through and I'll show you exactly how I can help you. And the point of these connection calls, in case you do it with any other coach, right, is that these connection calls should never be about trying to make a sale with you. It should be about getting you to a decision, a powerful decision for you, whether it's a yes or a no, but you don't get off the call thinking, yes, oh crap, what have I done? Although sometimes that happens anyway, because I've just made a big investment and I did exactly the same thing, but that was just head drama. Or you get off the thing and you're going like, no, I, I'm, it's a no, but you don't feel good about that no. That's the only purpose of getting on a call is to understand how specifically I can help you and to help you make a power, powerful decision whether that's yes or a no, right? So that deals with that. The, the one about like going off the ball between sessions, this is a really big one for me because I notice for myself that if I only do coaching once a week, it's really easy for our heads to kind of, you know, like they're nagging, blah, clawing at your brain the whole time. So I decided that if you sign up before the end of this year for this six month coaching offer, that I am going to give you access to my brand new alchemy chamber, which also starts in January, where I will also facilitate a very small group coaching session every single week, which you will be on. And also I will be doing a training or mentoring session every week that will be recorded, but you can also be on it live because it'll be on Zoom. So that you have three touch points every single week. And on top of that, there'll be a private Facebook group just for the people that are doing the one-to-one -one coaching and the alchemy chamber. So you can put a question in any time of the day or night and within 48 hours, I will get back to you and help you so you don't lose your momentum. You don't get lost in anxiety and overwhelm and lack of courage. Like we're here to keep going, going, going whilst maintaining our energy, right? So that is, and the alchemy chamber itself is an investment of $997. So that's that covers that one. I don't I will not lose you between our coaching sessions. The the other the last point, shame of pre previous investments. Holy crap. I so get you. My two biggest investments, which were twenty thousand dollars, and that didn't include my flights and accommodation getting to Puerto Rico and to Arizona. And then there's another investment of thirteen thousand um, dollars have probably been some of the worst investments I've ever made in my coaching. And I've, I've had the conversation with my husband and I recognize that when I made that investment in myself, um, I was putting so much emphasis on them giving me the answer. 
So just so you know, if you think this is me giving you the answer, it's not. It's me providing the container for you to do the work and find your own answers, but powerfully and making sure you don't ever let yourself go off the boil. Right. So but because I understand the shame <laughs> of investing money and not getting the work, which is just thought because there is a reason why you didn't do the work in the first place. So that's part of the coaching process. I'm giving you a money back guarantee. So if after six months of working together and you doing your coaching sessions and showing up in the alchemy chamber, you haven't made progress, I'll give you your money back. That's how much I believe in, in coaching, in my coaching and in my container. And you can borrow all of those thoughts. You can borrow the thought that, you know, that's how powerful this coaching container is, but it is not a magic pill. It is not a plaster for what's going on. It's going to be really intense work. It's immersive. It's intensive. It's intimate and holy macadoodle. It's going to be insanely valuable to you in your transformation. So this is a one time offer before we start 2023. You must sign up before the 31st of December, but I want you on board before then because I want our first coaching call to happen before that. It's six months. There's only three people. I'm only doing this for three people and the, the investment is just $3,000. That's it, $3,000, six months, three touch points every week. I will not lose you and I will not let you not reach your goals, period. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, please make sure you hit the show notes. You can alternatively just DM me on social media and say you want in and we'll go from there. Depending on what, um, you know, depending on what journey you wanna go down, you can sign right up. We can get a connection call, you can fill out some forms. It doesn't matter. You just need to be ready. You just need to be the person that says, um, I want to start now. I don't want to wait till 2023 because I want success. I want to shift. I want to change. I want to experience all these great things. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for letting me share this episode with you. I've absolutely loved it. And I'll speak to you again in the next episode of the Orange Life Podcast.